Today, we are going to be finding the name of the ionic compound KCN. Now just keep in mind that if you have an ionic compound that has three or more different elements in it, like we have here, you know that you have at least one polyatomic ion. Here we have K, which is potassium, C for carbon, and N for nitrogen. So I know that I have a polyatomic ion. Keep in mind that polyatomic ions are never going to be found on the periodic table. They have to be memorized. So I'm, I put the one that we're going to be seeing down here. So CN is always a negative one charge, which you should know the charge for them. They never change for the polyatomic that you're talking about. And CN is always cyanide. So this right here is our polyatomic. And since it's an ionic compound, the K is a metal, right? Ionic compounds, we should have a metal in there unless it's two polyatomics. And we know that it's a metal because potassium is over here. Now all we gotta do is just name them. The metal name always stays the same, right? So since it's K, it's just potassium. Moving on to the next part, this is the polyatomic cyanide and polyatomic ions, their name always stays the same. So if it's cyanide here, it has to be cyanide here. And maybe I'll just put it over here. Now just do one last check. Since potassium is not a transition metal, it's not in this group, we don't have to give a Roman numeral. So you're done. KCN is potassium cyanide. And that's it. Hope for this help, guys. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.